Hey, hello, this is Pavan. Welcome to technofilesup.com. Today, I would like to talk about responsive de web design. To begin with, with the recent evolution of uh, mobiles and tablet devices in the market, the optimal viewing experience for these devices became an important factor. To address that issue, a responsive web design came into the picture. I would not be covering the entire responsive web design topics over here, but just the basics uh, how this will be done, I'll be explaining it today. So let me begin by uh, creating one simple HTML file and I'll put some content in it. Let me grab some lorem epsom. and put it in the page so if I open this particular page now uh, let me open it in Chrome so and adjust the width of the browser the text overflows I mean it's flowing you need not move to the side to see the content you have to scroll down to see the content so this is essentially a responsive web design i mean the width the text arranges itself to fit to the device width so that's uh, the point i mean the browser is already responsive now let's take a look at the static layout how this is done so let me define one style sheet and uh, define the ID content over here so I'll be defining 100% that is nothing but 16 pixels 16 pixels and offline height 1.5 m and uh, fonts sans serif they should do and uh, we'll define width as 960 pixels and uh, i'd like to arrange it to the center so i'll use margin 0 auto and I also would like to have some background to the container so uh, what I'll be doing is I'll define some random value this should be somewhere around uh, gray and uh, blue so that should be fine let me re reload the page is it not working did I save did I save okay let me reload so and this is the uh, page that you are looking at now this is a static layout if I try to uh, change the width of the page the since the container is static the text will not overflow so you have to scroll left and right to see the content this is not a responsive design this is a static layout so instead uh, of using the uh, hard-coded 960 pixels over here what I'll do now is I'll arrange a width in such a way that it remains um, relative to the device width. So uh, while we'll be using 960 pixels over here is that the standard device resolution over internet is around 1024 pixels. So 960 pixels will give them uh, give the designers uh, a uh, little uh, content to the uh, side sides so that's the reason why we will use 960 pixels and it's also easy to divide into the grids so that's the reason why uh, 960 pixels is most widely used uh, now if we calculate the 960 pixels as a percentage of uh, 1024 it will come out as 93.75 percent but 
the device now that I'm using will be of different resolution it's it's 1600 by 900 so if I want to define a 960 pixels width container what I have to do is I have to def I have to calculate the percentage of 960 of 1600 which will come as 60 percent so if essentially if I type 60 percent over here and see it remains the uh, same so it is nothing but 960 pixels again but you are not looking at uh, the the 960 pixels as a standard value over here we want to define it in such a way that it fits just uh, to the uh, device width so what I'll define over here is that I'll give a width of 93.75 percent over here so it looks good let's see so now if I rearrange the uh, browser width it will change in such a way that it will grab the 93.75 percent of the device width so it is relative to the device width so that's how the fluid layout works and if we talk about now what we have covered we have covered the static layout and we have also covered the fluid layout fluid layout is nothing but the percentage of the device width and static layout is hard-coded pixel values and the other point that I also would like to cover is the elastic layout instead of using the uh, width of the device as the uh, relative uh, value now uh, we can use the font size as the relative value for the device width sorry for the width of the uh, page so now we are using the hundred percent size I mean hundred percent is the uh, of the browser font size which is nothing but 16 pixels 16 pixels is the standard browser font size and 1m is also 16 pixels so we are using 16 pixels font size and 1.5 em which is nothing but 16 into 1.5 that is nothing but 24 pixels as the line height so now if I define a value of uh, 60m 60m is essentially 960 pixels so if I use 60m over here it will be the same as 960 pixels but if I rearrange the browser over here it is not flowing as you can see the content over here it is uh, not a responsive design for the device width but it is responsive to the font size let me say that instead of 16 pixels if I give 20 pixels as the font size and look at it it will change its width so if the font size is increasing the device width is increasing if the font size is decreasing the device width decreases I mean the width of the container decreases in this way we can uh, uh, achieve this uh, responsive design from the browser based on the um, device width and the font uh, size so essentially we have covered the elastic layout so elastic layout is uh, linked to the font size so these are the different uh, techniques that we have to achieve the responsive web design so there will be more topics on it uh, like uh, the grid layout where uh, the device width is divided into the grids and based on uh, the device width the grids will be displayed accordingly so this is how the responsive design is done hope you like the tutorial thanks for watching have a nice day